Hello. Welcome back. Sorry, this part kind of had short notice compared to the previous one. But I didn't want to wait very long before I got started again. Just give me a brief minute. Get everything set up here. Make sure it's working all right. Get everything set up here. Okay, sorry to be poking around on my phone. Okay. If you missed the first stream, don't worry. Nobody's died or anything. Um, we met up with a woman who looks like James's wife, sounds like James's wife, but isn't James's wife at Rosewater Park, which is where we were trying to go last time. Uh, we ran into a little girl at the apartment building, and we've actually chased her into the hospital. Um, she knows who my wife is, and then she ran off, so we're looking for her, seeing if we can find any leads on that. We also ran into a triangle-faced monstrosity. Let me just make sure everything's going well here. I didn't have much time to prepare. Reigns is here. There we go. It's trying to play. Hey, the Bex. Old Pruitt is in here. Oh, look, the attract mode is starting. Did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? What do we have? Are you confusing me with someone else? That's potential spoilers. Anyway, that's Maria. So let's go ahead and jump back into it. Okay, so I grabbed a purple buffalo key in here for a box, which I believe is on the second floor, so I've got everything I need to out of here. But today we're going to try and do the entire hospital, which can take a while if you don't know what you're doing, but I kind of know what I'm doing. It won't be a repeat of last time where I wait a good 20 minutes before I look at uh, look at stuff online to try <laughs> to remember what apartment building I need to go into. Where is my wife? Ah, I'm pushing the action button. There we go. I have no time for these Thoughts who went to medical school. Just chug a five hour energy. That's how we handle that. My queen. We're looking for the queen. Here we are. This is not the queen. Ow. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. The bent needle. The nurses aren't sexy. They're supposed to be sexy, but I mean... Just a normal stuffed animal. Really, they just show some cleavage and some, uh... 
and some leg, and they think that's supposed to be sexy. But sexy, but you know the they don't have much in the way of personality. The magazine won't do me any good, but this bloody trench coat. Examination room, everybody. Yes, brother, boobs is cool. Where's that nurse that I hear? The surround sound is all messed up. Hi! Now, you see, if I was in charge of developing this game, he would hold the gat sideways and talk about, you know, representing wherever it is he's from. He's not from side. Oh, hi! He's from somewhere else. This is where they vacationed a few years ago, right before she got ill. I don't really like where my chat's going. Everything is just sexual and fetish-based. But I'm playing Silent Hill 2, which has the official subtitle of James and the Spooky Sex Monsters. So Here's Christina Aguilera meets Cameron Diaz, who is not my wife. She looks like my wife, but she's not my wife. Handgun bullets. You know, I don't think I should be in here just yet. I'm gonna go, because I got the examination room key, and that's downstairs. The nurses respawned in here. I'm not gonna waste any more bullets on Get out of my way. I don't know. Depending on your attitude towards Maria throughout the game, it can affect the plot. Namely, the ending. I'm trying to avoid spoilers so far in this playthrough, so... If you know the plot of the game, I'd rather you not spoil it. There's Kevin Putt. Bullets in the sink. Oh, shotgun shells. That's right, I found a shotgun. Food only. Do not store drugs. You hear that, brother? You hear that, Rufus? 7335 to get up on the third floor. have a look in some uh, some of the rooms on the second floor. Oh, we really do have somebody who doesn't know it. Okay. It's a good plot. It's a good story. I like the story. If I told you how much I enjoy the story of this game. key was that? The lapis eye key. Lapis lazuli. Isn't it beautiful? Bang! 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 Oh! use my pipe to try and save bullets for a bit. You don't want to do what you're doing. I adjusted the game volume to be a little bit quieter than last time. Let me know in the chat how my voice sounds in contrast with the game. Am I plenty loud enough? Before I was way too quiet. Oh, they are attacking Maria. Yeah, maybe a better idea to just... I'd rather you not. 
think I'd rather you not beat on that not wife of mine. You can't let him bunch up like that. Everything sounds perfectly fine to me, and I've got headphones on. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm gonna use up all my healing items on these stupid nurses. Check every door. Every door. So much needed supplies at least. Sounds fine to me, dude. Miss Pruitt, I'm sorry that uh, this game isn't as frightening as the one you've been playing. I do think this one's better though. But that's me being biased towards this game. I absolutely love this game. It's the best way to watch horror things. Headphones on, lights off. That's why I haven't had the light on for the last couple streams I've done with this. I feel like it would kind of ruin the atmosphere a bit if I'm sitting here bathed in light while I'm playing a game filled with darkness. Imprisoning me. All that I see, absolute horror. I cannot live, I cannot die, trapped in myself by the modeling cell. And Justice for All just got a re-release, you guys. And it's Metallica's best Rick. It's the only one I'll really listen to. I should watch it. Oh, that's a creepy shadow. Seven. Actually, I'm gonna check these doors first because maybe I'll need something in here before I go that way. Sounds like I'm hitting something. <laughs> yeah, I was. Okay. We're all good. We're good. It's locked. Get, get out of my way. You're not my wife. As much as I want you to be. No creepy mannequin here. That elevator doesn't work, I already know. But I know the code for the third floor. I remember 7335. I like creepy noise. I'm cool with creepy noise. Jeez. <laughs> Wait a minute. Tired. There's some strange noise on my, <laughs> on my court. It's just a hangover. You should rest. Mm. <laughs> so comfy. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. Look at this bitch being suggestive on a dingy ass abandoned hospital mattress. <laughs> James, she... I want to ask you something. What if. What if you can't find Mary? I'm sorry, I don't do? like Maria. I haven't thought about that. But you can just. She just acts. Ugh. She plays the whole, I look like your wife card way too much. Makes me just like, mmm. Chill with the swinging. Allow me to do the swinging. Yeah. Mannequin. 
Might as well just take care of it. Oh, wow. Two hits. The light attack is usually the way to go with this. I was overhead swinging it earlier. Do they have Silent Hill for Xbox? Uh, funny you mention it. I am playing on an Xbox. Now, um... Okay. I mentioned it on the last stream, but the way I'm playing is, um... Normally you won't want to go with the HD collection for Silent Hill 2 and never 3, but with 2, the original voices are available, and it is a backwards compatible 360 game that you can play on the Xbox One. So, I'm able to easily capture footage and stream it at a high resolution if I play the HD collection. And inside buildings, like right now, the game looks pretty good. Um, it's only once you get outside and sometimes fog effects are missing and a few sound effects are wrong as well. So I would say if you were going to play this game yourself, um, everyone and their mom probably has a PS2 laying around somewhere. Get the PS2 version because that's how it is originally intended. It's sort of like the difference between watching, I said this last time too, the original Star Wars films on VHS or Laserdisc. Do that if you can. But if all you've got is the like the DVD or Blu-ray versions, I mean, it's fine. Louise, I'll take care of you forever. It's my destiny. And then I've got a few keys for this box here, but this box has about 50 different locks on it. Yeah. We'll worry about that later. I has PS2. Yes, yeah, so if you ever want to play Silent Hill 2 or 3, 3 is incredible. It's very good. I give the edge to 2 just because the plot is just more interesting to me um although i really like all of the occult stuff in three it takes a long time to get going but it's definitely the scarier of the two so i can't get to that just yet i know i have a bent needle but i need something else with the bent needle where have i not been yet Did I find a key to the roof? I did. I need to go on the I need to go up on the roof. I want to play all of them. Um Play 1, 2 and 3. That's the series as intended by the folks who created it. If you're curious after, you can keep playing them, but just know that uh you're the original games with this quality are 1, 2, and 3. But now we're up on the roof, and it's very, very dark. It, is, it has gotten dark since we've been in here. It's not foggy anymore. There's something on the floor. Is this a diary? Let's read some depressing suicidal notes. May 9th, rain. Stared out the window all day. Peaceful here, nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10th, still raining. Talked with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic, weak. Not everyone can be strong. May 11th, rain again. The meds make me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? May 12th, rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13th. It's clear outside. The doctors told me I've been released, that I've got to go home. I... The diary ends here. There are no more entries. What was a diary doing up here? Um. Hello! <laughs> Woo! He looks pleased with himself.
I am hurt. My controller is vibrating pretty violently. Oh yeah. Now we're good. Well. There's something written on the wall. Turn, turn, turn. The numbers. Better not forget them. So I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. What were those numbers? Two, two, three. Is that a seven? Can you guys tell what that number is? I did get knocked the fuck out. Two, two, three, seven. I can't tell if that's supposed to be a seven or a five. Or, it's a seven. When I look at it on the uh, stream here itself, it's much more pronounced to be a seven. On my TV, it, it's very faint. Two, two, three, seven. You guys want to remember that number for me? Now it's unlocked. these bodies I've left behind. Is it is it one? It might be two two three one? We'll try both. Okay. We'll see. Don't worry. Oh yeah, the forever. Okay. So let's try We're gonna use this first. Takes care of one. The lapis eye key. One of these is four 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 four. Ain't that one? Don't ain't that one either. Well, I tried both on that, so let's see. It was one! It was one! You guys were all right. I'm an idiot. I would have been like, what's going on? I thought four ever would be four fours, wouldn't it? Okay. I knew it. The whiteboard was the one to get on the third floor. Doctor's journal, maybe? Okay. I am I am missing something. I am missing something. Everybody's yelling at me. Everybody's yelling at me in the chat right now. I don't even want to fucking look. Alright? I thought it was a seven. What could I have missed? What am I missing? I need a number. I need a four digit number. <laughs> oh, this is where I've already been. I've been in all these rooms, haven't I? Let's try examining room three. I feel like I, I think this room has a number in it. Yep, 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 yep. This is it. Don't worry. Ain't nobody cuddling me. 
Unless you want the cops called on you. I know it. I know the number of the box. 4259. I can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so nobody can stop who I am. Don't know who I am is who I am is who I am is. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Lucky 7 wasn't so lucky that... I don't accept anything. Not without a written contract. There's a joke in there about the HD collection voices, but I'm not going to go that way. <laughs> I'm not going to go on that. I hit the wrong thing. No, I don't care about that one. Imprint on carbon paper. What is that number? 4259. Where does the 4 ever come from then? I didn't put anything on there that had... No. I know who I am. Who I am is... Don't worry, everybody. Or did I did I misread that last number? Does anyone want to tell me what that last number on the imprint paper on the, the imprint on the carbon paper actually was? Was there a seven that should have been a one? I'm just I'm just asking. I forgot it already. <laughs> Oh no, and you guys all remember it. You're like, how do you forget? 4259. 4259. There's nothing inside the box. No, I'm wrong. There are a few hairs inside. I got a piece of hair. Look at everybody saying the number. They all remembered it. I've got hair. That hair was kept under tight lock and key. Oh yeah, babies. You know what time it is. It's time to combine a bent needle with some hair. I got an elevator key! Who wants to use an elevator? I know I do. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> the game's just like, eh, there's nothing in there. We're going now. First floor set of rooms are the only ones we haven't been in. James is going to hair out longer. It, it, that's a very good point. He could have just let that hair grow in a rusty old door. This place is spoopy. Shotgun shells. Handgun bullets. Any more ammo to find in here? James should have a mullet. Guy see he, if you're watching, and everybody who's incompetent at Konami gets fired and replaced with actual creative people, James needs to make a reappearance, but this time he's got a full beard and a mullet. And you gotta reprise the role. <laughs> he wears he wears shades. Laura? Too. Huh? You know my name? Eddie told me. That big fat blabbermouth. How do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? 
you gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. I probably would. I was friends with Mary. We met at the hospital. It was last year. Three years ago. Liar! Laura, I... Fine, don't believe me. But last year, Mary was already... He's thinking about it. I'm sorry, Laura. Anyway, let's go. We can talk about this later. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? How does this child know my wife? Wait, wait. There's something I gotta get. Later, okay? But it's really important. What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? I wanna go get it. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Good stuff happens when we get letters from Mary. Come on, hurry up! Is it in there? Yeah, in the back. What are you doing, Laura? It's further back, in the desk. She's my child. Laura! What are you doing? Oh. Ha ha. I tricked you. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? You want me to open it? Huh? Huh? Do ya? What's the magic word? She ain't gonna kill me. Here's the thing about that, right? James Sunderland is immortal and cannot die. I will show you. Just... Yeah! Oh no. No. They will choke you with their feet. Good. Stay away. Stay away. Oh. I don't want. I don't want what you're selling. Save my shotgun shells. Up. Oh. We got a third one. Move. Three, six, 
60 no scope? Oh, yes! <laughs> that achievement better be for finishing with three. If there were hit markers in here, that's perfect. Perfect. Phase Clan. I've sent you my Silent Hill 2 montage like eight times. Alright, you keep saying you didn't get it. This is different. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in our first other world sequence of the game. This laid into it. Hospital has changed. It's even it's in even worse shape than before. Silent Hill bitches. Nope. Oh God. Okay, hang on. These nurses are just ambushing me. I'm just gonna carry a gun around because that that pipe. If you get ambushed, you can't really react in time. With the handgun, I probably, if I hear them cavorting around when the door opens, I can just start shooting and hope I hit something. Okay. We cleared out this floor. Is this blood or rust? Or some kind of nice frothy mixture of both. Where are we going? Oh, one floor. Might have been one behind me. Yeah, I heard it. Oh, these take... These nurses are kind of a reddish hue and they take more punishment. How many handgun bullets? I've still got over 100 bullets, so... else watching anybody watching with headphones you're probably hearing what I'm hearing and it's it's a bit spoopy What's this? I was locked up inside the basement's basement it was so small and dark and I was so afraid I dropped my precious ring but I will never ever go back there hands searching for something or are they just a sign of pain look at those hands
No! 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 Okay. Uh huh. No! <laughs> no! Nope! Nope! Oh, that one's dead, dead. Thoughts eliminated. Jesus. Outlast 2 is spoopy with headphones. I believe it, dude. Outlast and Outlast 2 are just... They're just, like... The highest amount of tension for an entire game. If you want some kind of adrenaline rush or your heart to start having palpitations, those are good games for it. What I like a lot about Silent Hill and its style of horror, particularly Silent Hill 2, is it's not about overt graphic imagery and... I mean, right there it incited a little bit of panic, but it's not about jump scares or panic. It's about um, just atmosphere and dread and... just weird stuff you can't explain. <sighs> Can't open it. Hmm. It's no good. The door is too heavy to open by myself. I'll need someone's help to open it. I screamed a lot when I played Outlast. I played Outlast for about an hour, and then I was just kind of like, man, I'm going to take a break, and I never picked it back up. Because I was like, whew. Third floor. drill. Just go down the hall, clear out every door. Handgun bullets and an ampule. There's a scrap of paper on the ground, just some doodle. Huh, something's written on it. She is an angel. No one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins... She devours them, sin and sinner alike. She saves me. She is an angel. I think they're making reference to the Al Surat, which is a uh, mythological bridge that is razor sharp, and it's the width of a spider's web. And you have to cross it to get from the living world into heaven, and beneath it is hell and eternal damnation. But... If you were virtuous and lived a, uh, a life worthy of God, a white steed would gallop across and carry you to the other side. If not, you had to try and cross it yourself. Which is, I think, what they were referring to with that. There's your theological lesson. That's the lady of the door. Poetic. Let's see. We will help you get through the Outlast spoopy. Maybe I'll do Outlast. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. Whoa! No glasses required. Nintendo 3DS. Everybody should own a 3DS just so they can play Ocarina of Time 3D. This is the room Maria was in. There are empty medicine bottles here. Is this what Maria was taking? Is Maria sick now too? The 
This room is, uh, uh... I'm getting out of this room. Eric has the smoothest voice. I appreciate it. Noises? I hear y'all noises. I can't see ya. Just sprinting through. Here we go. Silent Hill 2 montage. Get clips. Double kill. <laughs> items? Bonus items? Any items for me? No. Hey, cool. It's not gonna work, okay. The stairs. Now these stairs, I believe, boobs is still cool. You know, I'm, I gotta agree with you. I can't disagree. Try as I might, and I'm really trying. You know, hang on just a second. My daughter is snoring behind me. Let me get her on camera. Hello. Say hello. I'm lemming into the microphone. Everybody say hi to Cosette. Michola. Oof. Anyway, back to it. Sorry about that. Shit. Hello? Uh -huh. She quit smoking. Yeah, the dog quit smoking. There's a shelf here. Doesn't look like there's anything on it. Except for bloody handprints on the left side. There are red handprints on the shelf. Move the shelf? Yes. One-handed this time. Oh yeah. You know, James, he's got he's got upper body strength. James! Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were. Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway, what do you mean anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Jeez. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so I'm getting a lot of red flags from this woman. Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. And we're gonna find her, but first I gotta go to the basement's basement and find the precious ring. I got the copper ring! Oh, 
Oh, check this out, Maria. There's some strange shrieking thing out here. It's beautiful. I love it. Oh. I keep switching ears in my headphones. That, um... That fridge I was trying to open, that was on the second floor, I believe. Red flags is an overstatement. Second part, this is part of the long staircase. No, it's not. It's not the part. We're not going to talk about staircases and potential spoilers. Everybody's being so mean to Maria. I guess it's my fault. I was acting annoyed with her, too. She's just trying to find the little girl, you guys. I found one ring. I need another. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Picture of a spider. Second floor. Hi there, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another exciting edition of Trick or Treat. Here you either answer the questions correctly. This voice has changed from the original. They didn't get this one back. I'm sorry. The old one sounded like an old-timey radio announcer, and the audio was kind of uh, compressed and low quality on purpose, and there was like music playing. Uh huh. Uh huh. I sure am. Silent Hill is home to a thrilling amusement park that both children and adults love. The question is, what is the name of this amusement park? Yes, yeah, Lakeside. One, Fantasyland. Two, Silent Hill Amusement Park. Three, Lakeside Amusement Park. Okay, quick, on to question number two. Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. King's Island. Cedar Point. Heroines. And chopped into pieces with an axe. Torn flesh. Smashed bones. Spattered blood. And finally... What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such innocent lives. It's a shame. Now, the question... What was the name of the murderer? Oh, we read about him in the Gossip Magazine last time, if you were here. Walter Sullivan. Two, Scott Fairbanks. Three, Eric Gunn. Now, for our third and final question. South Lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Bay. There, to Paleville, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road you can take. Just one road. No more. The third and final question is... What is the name of that road? One, Buckman Road. Two, Rendell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our I'll have to consult the map for that you one. you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful, if you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody, thanks for tuning in. See you again sometime. Bye bye. I don't know if anybody knows how to pronounce Gein right. Gein, Gein, Game. What was that? G E I N. What was that? Let's consult the map. How do you get northwest around the lake? What road do you take? Hang 
on it was three, one, three, right? Three, one, three, if Nathan Avenue. So three, one, three are the answers. We're actually going to just, just remember that. I'll type it in the chat so I remember. 313. Let's open a fridge. Come on. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man. Jocelyn Sita, you were right. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? <laughs> Earaged. What's this? Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Well, thanks. Thanks. You're giving me the ring. Just because it's not pretty enough for you. I do so much for you. Let's take a look at it. Disgusting bloated face. We're gonna go to the third floor, we're gonna go to the storeroom and guess the right answers. And hopefully not get killed in doing so. And then, we're going to put the other ring Everybody, f no, no, oh no. My boyfriend's saying the same thing. You gotta, he's, he's gotta learn a lesson. He's gotta sleep outside tonight. <laughs> you can't let him get away with do, oh no. Not, not anything but that. All right, everybody, this is it. Hey! Ammo, 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 ammo. Ampules. Well, she's right, it's not cute. I hope Maria dies. Well. Let's see. Why <laughs> we hate Maria so much? She looks like my wife! We're supposed to like her. No, we're not supposed to completely like her. She doesn't like James. Well, I mean, she kind of does, but Laura doesn't like James. But Laura knew the wife. Here we go. <laughs> she ho. Yzma? She's chirping at me. There's a note on the ground. Inside is... You want to say hello too? <laughs> she hates it. Inside is some kind of hard-to-read writing. I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. What's written into the ground? It looks like, oh, maybe. Hmm. Long way down. Eric, let me read it. Oh! Hey, it's Guy, everybody! It's Guy Sehe, GC Navigator. That is the actor who plays James Sunderland himself. Thanks for joining us, Guy. I can't believe I missed you showing up. All right. Uh... Oh! 
Hello? He's here! He's here, everyone. Oh god. I can't keep track of which way I need to go. Run, Maria! Now's the time to run! Open up! She gone. Let her go. Save yourself. <laughs> Guy, I think there's probably... Well, I don't know if you'd be up to it. There's probably a way I could get your voice in here with me. If we did, like, um like a Facebook audio call and I could turn on my desktop audio we could hear you in here as well that's up to you <laughs> Jocelyn but finally I think that's the scariest part in the game for me Pyramid Head just popping up behind you yeah he just kinda he just kinda shows up let's try that okay cool One second, you guys, while I get that set up. Would you rather do uh, Skype or uh, I don't have I don't have Discord. I'm not sure. Boobs is not cool anymore. Okay, cool, awesome. Sorry, guys, just give me a moment here. If I can get this right, it might take a little tiny bit of trial and error. music. guys hear the phone ringing? you. It says it's ringing out to you. <laughs> I thought it was it was me calling on that one. Maybe we were trying to call each other at the same time. Oh, how do I answer? Uh, you're on the laptop. I guess go to um, Facebook and click the messenger icon at the top and just kind of hit like open in messenger. It'll have its own little tab. 
and then uh, you should be able to answer from there. If not, we can try Skype. I'm logged into Skype. I don't know if you have Skype on... I don't, I'm sure you're watching on your laptop. Oh, that's it. There we go. Okay. Hey, Guy, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you great. Hey, it's Guy C, everybody. Hey, everybody. What's up? How you doing? Hey, man. hey Guy, can you hear me? I hear yeah, you fine. I hear you oh, there we go. Hey, everybody. Okay, I got kind hey, of a delay. I'm hearing you on, on both, yeah. but that's all right. You might have to mute the stream and just talk to me directly, but just not have audio from the game. Okay, gotcha, I'll do that. Delay. Hang on. Okay. You might have to mute the stream and just talk. <laughs> yep, all right. That does it. This is awesome. Yeah, hey, thank you, Waffle Bonk. I appreciate the support. Yeah, that's that's Rachel. I actually hey, know hey, her yeah. because yeah. I met you, and she started commenting on all this stuff like, Oh, my God! You got to meet Guy C. Well, that's great. I'm glad I, I had the chance to... Uh, Catch you guys playing the game, keeping the flame alive. Keeping it's it's never gonna die, man. You're gonna you're gonna have that flame forever. You guys are the best, diehard fans. I love it. Yeah, that we. I was talking. Oh, sorry. So I'll read I'll read the on screens for you, but it'll be delayed, right? Just a little bit, but that's okay. I can wait. We are so spoiled, absolutely. All right. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. That's so cool. <laughs> and then James makes his little doodle there of the letter and the wrench. We're heading for the Historical Society. All right. The hospital lobby key. And this is the point in the game where it switches from lots of fog to just infinite darkness. It's nighttime now. Oh, right. Turn on the flashlight. Exactly. <laughs> I'll save the game right quick. Um, when we walk out of here, there's actually a monologue James has with himself that's not been recorded by you, which I think is a really big clue to the plot and the ending of the whole story, which I've not spoiled so far. Okay. Hey, in uh, Forgotten Memories, the director had the, bash, uh, the flashlight batteries gradually run down. Does oh, James' cool. flashlight run down? No, it's no, infinite. I couldn't protect her. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Laura has run off somewhere. Little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, what should I do? Are you really waiting for me? Or is this your way of taking? I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for or live for. <laughs> You're going back fast, man. This, oh my god, it's so cool to hear you say these lines that, that were just never recorded. And now we're out roaming the town looking for a small child in, <laughs> in total darkness with creatures stalking about. This is a point in the game where uh, every now and again between levels they kind of give you some quiet time and breathing room to just explore the town and find some supplies. And, uh, what are you carrying for a weapon now, Eric? What have you got? The pistol or nothing? Yeah, I've, I've just got the pistol right now. Okay. Um, I don't know if I need... No, I don't need to reload it. I try and use melee weapons as much as I can get away with, just to hang yeah. on to ammo for the boss fights. Because sure. if you're fighting a boss and you run out of bullets, you're kind of up shit creek. Yeah. Oh, man. 
Did you have a fun Thanksgiving? I know you were visiting family down south. I'm still down in south. I'm in uh, West Palm Beach, Florida, and I'm here with my my eldest daughter. We're I'm helping her. She's painting an outdoor mural, and uh, I'm I'm helping her. We were up up on six floors up on a scaffold today, painting the outside of a building. <laughs> so That's cool. Pretty cool. I'd get I'd get white knuckles six floors up, <laughs> staring straight down. <laughs> I was, I was just about to post a photo of it because really boss up on on Instagram I'll probably put it on uh, Facebook too but I'm on Instagram if anybody wants to follow that for my great American adventure yeah do you know about how long you're gonna be sticking around in the states I knew you were just kind of here temporarily at the moment yeah I'll be here at least until June next year okay and about- I'll be traveling. I'll be traveling around the country to different places. I don't. I don't really have time uh, on this trip to to meet with fans like I did in Columbus. Uh, but I'll be heading up to Atlanta after this, and then back up to New York. That sounds like a fun time. That's plenty of traveling to do. I'm still just so grateful. I lucked out to be where I live. Is in a town called Carlisle. I'm about 90 minutes outside of Columbus. Dayton's the closest actual city to me. I see. And so I just kind of jumped at the opportunity. Well, I'm glad you came down, Eric. It was great to meet you. Oh, me too, for sure. Absolutely. Um, You're about to see a monster in the game that doesn't show up too often, actually. There are monsters that crawl along the fence, like the graded floors here. They're kind of uh, helpless. Yeah, they're like the face huggers or something. Well, they've got they've got big giant arms like this, and they try and they try to reach up and pull you down, and they're helpless. They if they let go, they fall to their death. Which, for anybody who actually does know the story of the game, you can kind of draw plenty of parallels off of that. Mm-hmm. Here we are on the other side of town. This is where the game starts. Is this area? It's kind of. The game takes place in South Silent Hill on the other side of the lake, whereas the first game takes place up north, and then they kind of divvy it up between east and west. Another quick save point. I won't keep you forever, but I know there's at least one more thing I want you to see, and this this note kind of alludes to it. Man, I've never seen this trailer before. That's pretty funky. There's a bunch of um, hidden save points throughout the town. My last playthrough, I actually stumbled across a motel with a save point on the car, which I didn't know you could access. In Silent Hill 3, you actually start off at that hotel once you get into town, but I didn't mm-hmm. know it was in 2. It's the same one. Oh. This car? No. The mannequins, they, they don't come to life until you get close enough. Your radio won't detect them either until they start moving. Which is mm-hmm. kind of creepy if you turn around and just run into some, <laughs> run into. Oh one. yeah, look at that, frozen. Just frozen there. We'll just kind of nope right past them. We need to go those to Neely's like bar. Perfume bottles. What are those? <laughs> well, the, oh, oh, the yeah. five. So they're <laughs> health drinks. Yeah. They oh, restore a little okay. bit of health, but I just call them five-hour energy. Oh, I feel okay. like I feel like James is running around just <laughs> down in little energy drinks. Yeah. Here we are at the Happy Burger, a staple of Silent Hill. I'm eating a steak. You're gonna eat a steak? No. You're a hungry girl, all right. No. Oh man, I could go for steak too. We're we're heading out for a steak (laughs) pretty soon. (laughs) Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, there's one of these Ruth Chris Steakhouses here. I've never been to one. I've always wanted to try it. Ruth's Chris. Ruth's Chris. Yeah, anybody heard of that one? I've not heard of it, but it's a fun name to say. It's tough to say because it's like so weird. I think it was <laughs> Ruth had a steakhouse and Chris had a steakhouse and then Ruth bought out Chris, so they kept both names. Weird, the history on it. Oh, I guess oh. so. Just kind of matched together. It's a lot of S's. Um, there was a hole here. It's gone now. Oh, is that is that coming up? That's right here. Well, shine the light on it. Okay, hold on. This is like one of the biggest things people ask me to say. So, it, um, it It's never explained. The game will not explain it to you. I think it kind of foreshadows what happens in the historical society. 
where there is just a giant hole in the wall with a never-ending staircase. And uh, Well, I'll read them both. There was a hole here. It's gone now. Just... And what's the one here say? Well, it, oh, once you right. reach this part in the game, this text will appear on the wall. It's not there before. Oh. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die? Well, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but if you but you might be heading to a different place than Mary, James. Hmm. Well that's not that, <laughs> that's not a very hopeful message to the kids. What the hell? How do they know my name? How do they know? Oh the letter in the wrench isn't far. We just gotta go around the block. Yeah, it was that little Laura. She probably wrote that. Yeah, she, uh, she's not a big fan of us at the moment. She was mean to us, and then we kind of snapped at her when she said that she met Mary last year. We weren't having that. <laughs> but she does know that James is James already. I mean, you're trying to think, who would possibly know James could spray paint on a wall? It would have to be only her. Eddie's yeah. not going to do that. Well, and then you could kind of think about how... Maybe James put it there, but he, well, he didn't physically put it there. Maybe the town put it there because it's pulling things out of his brain. Yeah, I always thought the town was like a 15-year-old juvenile delinquent with spray paint. <laughs> That's true horror. <laughs> That's how the town behaved. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's what I needed. Come on. Come on. Letter here. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park, at the foot of the praying woman, inside of the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now, no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Ooh, yeah, this strange letter started talking to me. Or talking to you, rather. Spooky. It is rather spooky. <laughs> so now we got to head to the park. And uh, our clue is that it's under the praying woman. I think the way we get there is we turn left at Cat Street and we go through that door that was locked before. I don't know if you saw, I kind of posted a little photo of it on Facebook to advertise a stream the other day, but there's a door that is locked that says that it opens in darkness leading into nightmares and it only opens at nighttime, so now we can pass through. I still, I mean, I, I've said it like 50 times, but it, it's <laughs> its so cool to play this game with, with you in my headphones reading the lines as James. It's a unique well, experience. It's a first. Yeah, that's oh, for I, sure. I, I, did it, I did it with uh, Fungo. You, yeah, you did it with uh, Fungo. It. Yeah, that was, what, a couple of years ago now? I believe so. I, I watched that. I was pretty stoked to see that. I was like, oh, I get to see him react to the game. Yeah, that was, that was cool. I, I don't remember that that trailer you just went in. I think he just blew past it. Yeah, I think he only had you and Dave for a limited amount of time. Yeah, he and was so, definitely speed running. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to get through the game as quickly as possible. If you're quick, you can get through it in about four and a half uh, hours or so. Let's see. The, the door... I uh, couldn't see that one. I'm sorry, it's, there's a delay, so if I 
by the time you're seeing it, I've already oh, probably walked you, past it. <laughs> I see, I see. That that explains it. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't intentionally just be like, ah, here it is, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that other guy. <laughs> right, no, we, we won't talk about that. Let's see. Okay, so we're almost to the park. Which is where we met Maria. Which was a rather oh, creepy you experience. Be, oh, you already met her? Yeah, we saw her die just at the beginning. Oh, right, in the right, hospital. Right. Okay. Um, you kind of stumble into the park looking for your wife, but instead you find a blonde-haired version of your wife who is cracking jokes about the hotel being your special place <laughs> and saying other inappropriate things. The big level coming up, the historical society, is... Uh, I've already talked to you before about how Silent Hill 2 is kind of held in such high reverence as a both a PS2 game but just like a horror game in general, just horror media, but the historical society is absolutely the climax and just, to me, I think the best thing that Team Silent KCET put together, it's from beginning to end, you have no idea what's going on, it's very disorienting. I'll find it. There's just a statue I need to look around to. Here's a monument from before, talking about the folks under the lake. Now that's one of a few. The game goes out of its way to tell you that there's plenty of dead people in the water. There's the horse, but not the praying woman. Okay, I booked a table for eight. Okay. So we'll leave about ten minutes before that. Where is this praying woman hiding? <laughs> Hello from Scotland. Hey! Big Boss Sidon, or Aiden. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't uh, check in on the first play playthrough. I, I did try to look at it. I, I could see you, but I, I couldn't comment because I was on my uh, tablet, I guess. Oh, that's okay. Twitch is really cumbersome on a tablet or a phone. It meant a lot that you just even watched a little bit to begin with, and now this is happening. <laughs> Pretty sure I went all the way to the other side of the park for no reason. She's got to be over here somewhere. There she is. There's the praying woman. Oh, good. You got to dig the dirt, I guess, because it's underneath her, or there's a. There's a riddle there. I remember this part from the first playthrough. Yeah, there's some text that's kind of obscured that you can't really make out. Victim of persecution by the... Hmm, Jenna Carroll lived with pride and honor. What happened here shall never be forgotten. Will you dig? James just has no patience to find something to dig with, just use his hands. The ground, could there be something will you dig? Yes. Now that's definitely mo-capped, so at some point they said, now squat down and <laughs> dig up something with your hands. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So I probably would ask, well, how deep is it? <laughs> <laughs> They say dig, I say how deep. Ooh, small metal box, nice. The old bronze key. This is how we get into the museum. Mm. 
someone <laughs> he booked a table for eight. So we're all going. Is what someone said. <laughs> I think you meant eight PM. But we'll we'll just say you meant eight people. <laughs> yeah, you can all come. <laughs> I'll try a steak. All right. Ruth's Chris. It'll be a virtual steak. <laughs> I'll live stream my steak. <laughs> Sorry to any virtual vegans. Nom nom nom. <laughs> now, well, this is some unique guy see he trivia. How do you usually get your steak, guy? How do you have it cooked? Medium rare. That's about where I'm at. I, I'm about yeah. medium more so than medium rare. I, I can't really get people who just you know want you to walk it through a warm room and just want to drink up all that blood out of it. Well, you know, tonight I might get it rare because this is a famous steakhouse. But normally. Just to be on the safe side, I would go medium rare. Yeah. But this place is pretty famous, so I think I might go. I, I prefer to eat it rare. Hmm. Well, now we know. Look at the billboards here. The early days of Toluca. Stories of the truth. That's where we're going. It's a long way down Nathan Avenue to get there. Ooh, look at that. Silent Hill Heirloom Society? Is that what that said? The Historical Society. Oh, Historical Society. Okay. Yeah, that's where we're heading. Sure. Like a lake. Off. Keep the nature, it says. <laughs> Keep that nature. <laughs> that's so Japanese. Keep <laughs> the nature. <laughs> they always put prepositions before nature. Is oh, here's your ad guy. Mm hmm. You got your advertisement in here. Mm -hmm. Well, it makes sense for uh, such a drink as a quiet cocktail to be served in Silent Hill. I see what they did there. Let's see here. I'm gonna try and get around this nurse here to pick up this first aid kit. Nope, nope, oh. She almost clipped me. Don't get me killed. I won't get you killed. I'll protect you, don't worry, buddy. Alright. <laughs> see. Don't feel me, Eric. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all good. Oh, hey, here's a save point. We're inside the museum now, and so begins the best level in... Well, any Silent Hill game for sure, but maybe any horror game. Is that? Is this it? Where like this is peak peak performance here? This is peak performance. Once we oh, get down wow. in there, nice. Look at this painting they've got displayed. Yeah, I was eating some chips, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I don't want to spoil that steak, but I put the bag away. <laughs> we look at this. That's our boy. Oh, yeah. Remnants of the day, I think. Um, re rem remains of the judgment. There you go. Misty day, remains of the judgment. Ooh. It's him. Yeah, he just says, oh, it's... <laughs> the only thing to make it more realistic is he's just kind of like, well, shit. <laughs> just had that as a caption. Yeah, I know. I was having a conversation with Dave. Good old Dave. Who played Dave Shoffley, yeah. Oh, about... Um, we were going to record for Forgotten Memories, this that the new game that we did, the latest one. Mm -hmm. um, we were kind of, you know, semi-wasted, and we were just chatting. We were, <laughs> we were just testing the equipment. We weren't doing the recording. And, uh, oh, there's nothing useful right now. So, so Dave's like, yeah, you know, when I first heard what you were doing, I didn't really think you were very good. And, uh, you know, because I was used to doing games. And when people do games, they have this kind of game-like voice. And you and Monica were just like, were acting. And it was, it seemed like it was, it just didn't seem right to me. I didn't really get it at first. But, you know, the game has lasted so long and it has so many fans. That I, I have to admit, it was, it, you know, you really hit, hit the right thing because you're real. You were just being real. And so, and, and I'm like drinking this all up and I'm like, yeah, man, I'm real. I'm, that's what <laughs> It, I was, it was good because I was, and Monica was, we were real. 
we weren't acting. We were acting real. We weren't like doing a game voice. And so that, I thought that was really cool. So I had it in my mind. That's how, I, that's what I should do. <laughs> so we recorded the lines for Forgotten Memory. Dave did his game voice and I did my my newly empowered real voice for this character. Uh, I think it's Nathan Barnes is his name, the detective. And then we sent this, the, the stuff off to uh, the director and he, and he wrote back in another day. He was very polite and he said, Guy, could you kind of like take it up a couple of notches? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I was too real. I, so I came up with a new uh, approach. It's um, real on fire. Real on fire. Real, comma, on fire. Inflamed. So, yeah, so you got to be real, but you have to really punch it through. Otherwise, it comes off too flat. The su it's too subtle you, it, for a game. You need more need more depth in the... Because it's with the mocap, it's not really like live action. It's not, mo it's not a movie. It, it's still... A, a specific genre. It's a game with mocap and then the voice. So yeah. I redid it again, and of course it, he was happy. With, thank God for this for the second round. So now I read when I read these now. I I'm trying to be real on fire. Real so on I'm, fire. So I'm doing it. I'm putting more into it than I probably did when I was recording the original, because <laughs> this is the new me. <laughs> well, Dave had a good point. I mean, it wouldn't have. I think it kind of speaks for itself that. The fans of the game, when when this whole HD debacle initially started, and it was announced, oh yeah, those old voices were, you you won't miss them. We're getting new ones, and everybody lost their collective shit. Like the internet exploded with people just like, how could you take this classic game that you're touting as a classic game, and completely just change the way it sounds and how the characters act? And I don't know. That's that's a whole can of worms, but I mean, it's it's a very genuine performance, and anybody else playing that character just definitely feels foreign and not very. <laughs> it just gets yeah. to me. Yeah. Well, I have to say. Well, we we're gonna do a, a live stream. You, you're gonna help me do a live stream, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I um I sent an email with a bunch of questions over to you when you get a chance yeah. to read it. Yeah, so we won't we won't you know spoil the fun for that. So anyone who wants to join in on that, look for look at my Facebook page or yeah, look at the Facebook page. I think it's called Guy C. He Actor. That's for the for the day and time on that, or check with Eric. I'll give you at least a week's time uh, heads up on that. It'll it won't be next week. It's going to be a couple of weeks from now at the earliest. But if you join in on that, we're, we'll get into some of the inside story of the making of Silent Hill 2, and it, it should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, me too, for sure. Thanks for stopping me there. I would have just kept going. <laughs> but yeah, we can, no, I don't we want to save it. it. Because, you know, uh, yeah, we'll have, we'll have hopefully a couple hundred people at least on that. Awesome, for sure. Um, this hospital was built in response to it. Oh, you know who reads these lines better than me is Dave. Dave nailed these. He was so good at it. Does he? Yeah, he's he's the boss, man. He he did like five different characters in in Forgotten Memories, and some of his characters talk to the, he talk to them. He was always talking to himself. No one knows that it's oh. Dave. He's so um, he's capable of doing multiple characters and and. You won't know unless I tell you that he's doing both characters. I just do me. <laughs> That's, and, you know, there's a there's a great thing about both of those is because um, I always tell people about when I met you, they'll ask about it. And I'll say, when he opens his voice, there is nothing about Guy that isn't James and there's nothing about James that isn't Guy. The, the voice is, it was exactly the same. It was so weird hearing you talk to me because who you are as a person is just kind of, just implanted right there into the game like it's, yeah, it's great. it doesn't seem like acting it just seems like there's there's guy see he in the game like i'll switch back and forth between referring to the main character of the game as james yeah. or guy my wife's always careful around the pillows yeah <laughs> oh, no no spoilers in here but uh oh, no 
this place was a little more than a shack. Mm. It was a hospital. There was, apparently there was a plague in Silent Hill when it was initially settled by colonists. Here's the director of the hospital. Ooh, and then the whole photo. You know, when I see this stuff now, and I... <sighs> Jeez, that Forgotten Memories is really qu quite similar. <laughs> yeah? Did they, you think they took a lot of inspiration? Definitely. I mean... They, they, they sought you out for it, so... <laughs> The whole game. The whole game is about the ho the this psychological hospital, this this sanitarium. So he kind of like went off in that. Not that that's a uh, you know such a reach for a psychological horror uh, game that you would set it in a sanitarium or a you know a mental institution, especially a decrepit and abandoned one with a sordid past and a, and rumors about murders. Mm -hmm. That's what that one was about. Have you ever played that other uh, Forgotten Memories? I've not played it. I, isn't is it? It's a mobile game, isn't it? It's on uh, iOS. Right. Yeah, that's right. And I think he finally no, he's still trying to get it out on Android. That's right. He got it out on. He's got it on one of the PlayStation platforms now. I'm not sure. I don't think it's the PS two or three. It's the or or four or whatever they're up to. I think I know it's that, on. Um, it was supposed order. to be on PS Vita. But yeah, I don't know Vita. if it ever made it to that. Okay, I actually, right. I own a Vita. The Vita is one of the few PlayStation systems that didn't really sell too well in the West. In Japan, it did all right. Yeah. Um, I've got a Vita, but a lot of folks I know don't, but I absolutely love it. So, I right. would love to play it on that before I'd play it on a phone just because I'm so used to traditional controls. Well, the fellow, um, you know, he's a, he's a small businessman and he's an independent developer. He's got a, a software package that does shadowing 3d shadows and and rendering of light mm -hmm. that people can just plug into the game they're making to make it you know give it realistic depth and so forth because that's yeah. a very time consuming process that's what he makes money from so he kind of like yeah he needs to maintain that keep it up to spec and then he you know he'll get cash flow coming in and then he'll go and develop his games with that so th he's kind of like an inchworm in terms of his development cycle you know he'll he'll pause for a while as he makes money gathers up resources with the rendering the shadow rendering app yeah. and then he'll go out and deploy it in a in a game so he's kind of just using his day job to feed into what he's really wanting to do sounds yeah, like yeah you know that's his that's his whole gig that's his whole job he's just wrapping up an update on the shadowing stuff. So, so supposedly next week he's finished, and he and I are working on a project together. As soon as he's finished with that, that's why I'm kind of tracking his schedule. He's going to be helping me with a game, uh, an educational game for students that uh, I'm working on. Okay, I know that. Um, like you go around, you give presentations for you have software yeah. that teaches folks to speak English. Is that right? That's correct. Well, you speak English wonderfully, I have to say. <laughs> Does he look like Leon from Resident Evil? Well, I wish I could answer that question, but I don't... Uh, is that Big Boss Aiden? I don't know Leon from Resident Evil. I've never... I'm such a... you know... So sorry. sorry, Leon man. is from Resident Evil 2 and 4. Think like a rookie cop with really long blonde hair that he's got parted over his face. Very... Almost like if, if James were in like some kind of action anime, he'd probably look a lot like Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil. Well, you know, if you ask me, with a lot of the game characters kind of look like me, or maybe I look like a lot of game characters. It just depends on how I comb my hair. Maybe. I'm looking at idle animations on James as he stands here, and it just showed one. It was probably you not even... Meaning to, maybe they just took it, but he was like kind of scratching behind his ear a little bit. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> there he goes. But I was reading a prisoner log from the 1800s down here. Oh. Uh, I went down an incredibly long staircase in the museum, and now I'm in some sort of prison.
Well, if you see something you want me to read, let me know. I'm going to be, I've got about three or four minutes here with you. Okay. Then I'm going to have to head on. Get that steak. Fill your belly. I'm pretty hungry myself. We worked hard today. I am hungry. That's awesome. I can't wait to see the final result of that mural. I bet it looks pretty cool. Well, uh, like five blocks of, oh, not five blocks, five segments of it are already done. She, she painted it last year. So we're just continuing the work. So you can see it probably on Google Maps. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Whenever they get around to filming that, driving yeah, through there. Huge. Yeah, oh, they, they built this. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, we yeah, she, they built this new train line that, or they they upgraded an old train that goes from Miami up to West Palm Beach, and they wanted the station to look nice. It's all brand new. Um, Richard Branson just bought the, this train line from the original developer, so the Virgin Air guy. So they'll rebrand it Virgin, like a Virgin train. Yeah. And go from Miami up to West Palm, and it's going to keep going up to Daytona and then further up towards uh, Disney in, in Florida. And so they're, they want the stations to be nice. The, the stations are brand new. They're very uh, spiffy looking. But, you know, you roll into town and you go by, past some big old buildings like warehouses and stuff with blank walls on it. So the ones down close to the downtown, they wanted to make a statement like you're in a fancy town now. So they hired my daughter. To uh. paint. She the boss. She is the boss. She's the boss. She's she paid color. to make art. I mean, that's that's the best way to make a living is you get to actually create something that's worthwhile that sticks around even after you're gone. Mm. Now, as you can see, I'm trapped at the bottom of a well. You have to Thank you awesome work. have a good night's sleep. Oh, someone hopping off? Yeah, waffle box. Oh, okay. That's that's yeah. Rachel from the UK. Okay, Rachel. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> now, to get out of here, you have to go around examining the wall until you find a spot that feels different. Yeah, I remember that part. That drove me nuts. <laughs> oh, this is different. Yeah, there we go. All right, man. I've got to roll. Okay. I can't thank you enough for stopping by. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you again soon. Yeah, thanks. Good, good, goodbye, everybody. Good night. Thank you. I, uh, I appreciate your being fans of the game. And remember, stay silent. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate it, man. We'll see you. Well, guys, that was incredible. Uh, that was. I expected that he may show up and say something in there, but. Um... That, that's the best possible way that this stream could have gone. And now he gets to go enjoy himself some steak. I'll play just a little bit longer till we get to a new save point, and we'll call it there, because I don't know how I'm going to top that by myself. Sometimes it... Life just kind of works out. And you get to do cool shit like play Silent Hill 2 with Guy C talking to you and watching the game. Yeah, me too, Rachel. Best stream ever. This was so unexpected. I know. <laughs> Believe me, I didn't expect it either. That's so cool. I'm going to save it. I don't know if he'll be able to show up for the next one. He's a, he'd a, he's a pretty busy dude. But I'd like for him to see the historical society part of this game because it's it's by far the most frightening and the most memorable. Good night. Whoever, uh, Midnight, Midnight Blaze, thanks for stopping in and hanging out with me and, and Guy C. <laughs> I still can't get over that. You have a good one. I wish exciting stuff like this happened on this Chanel ever. Yeah, but brother. Dustin. Chanel. Turn on the flashlight. And there's lots of bugs. Now this puzzle, you just have to hit the keys that are lit up. Hope you get the right order. Thank you. 
Looks like only three and five are lit up. That's it. Three, five, five. You just have to guess with those with whatever numbers are lit up. You can see here the room is topsy turvy at the bottom. You can see the tube lights and the doors on the side. Oh, I was hoping I'd get here before he left. We run into Eddie down here. We run into Dave. I've never got to talk with Dave, just Guy. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. You, you killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. James is thinking Tell YOLO. What happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. Crotch zoom. He just came after me. You guys, we played Silent Hill 2 with Guy Sihi. What the hell is going on? His eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed that's, him? That's a, that's a moment. That's what something I'm going to remember for probably for the rest of my life. You can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? He did have it coming. <laughs> I, was I was just, just joking, joking, James. He was dead when, when I got, got here. Honest. Anyway, anyway I, gotta I gotta run. run. You're, You're going, going out, out there alone? alone? Yeah. Eddie? There goes Eddie. Who's probably shot this guy to death. Eric knows no way. How did you even get Guy Sihi anyway? So, Guy was in town in Columbus. I don't live far from Columbus. I'm about 90 minutes out. And he posted on his Facebook page that he was going to have a get-together and meet fans and sign games and stuff. So I took my game to get signed. And, uh... I got to hang out with him, and we were at the restaurant in the hotel he was staying at, and there were about nine or ten of us, and we got to eat and talk with him for a few hours, and I had already had somewhat of a correspondence with him online. I was a fan of his, and we would talk on Facebook now and again, um, and so I actually got to meet him in real life, and we just kind of kept in, in contact ever since, and at some point... Um, like he said, we're planning on, when he gets some time, we're going to do a stream for him that I'm going to host and ask him some questions. I've prepared a bunch of questions. Uh, he's done a few interviews before, but I feel like they ask a lot of the same questions and not a lot of really good, interesting questions. So I'm hoping I can uh, see that. Boobs is cool again. It's all about boobs. But we've saved the game. We've been on for about just almost two hours now. I'm not going to type... I'm not going to top uh, Guy Sihi being in the stream. So I'll go ahead and call it here. I really appreciate you guys coming out and joining us. This is this was the coolest shit ever. I'm just going to talk for a minute about that. Uh, I'm hoping that he'll show up for the next one. But if not, that's cool. He's got stuff going on. He's got to eat that steak. Uh, this Friday, the Mortal Kombat tournament is happening. And it's going to be a, me and a ton of my friends from work. And my brother's going to be there too. Hell yeah, Bub's going to be there. We're going to present it as a pay-per-view event. We're going to be fighting for the prestigious Mortal Kombat title. Which I will show you guys right now. It's very coveted, very fancy. But uh, here you go. This is the gold that can't be bought. This is mine. 
All right. I'm still I'm still the champ. Still hanging on to this. I don't plan on losing on Friday, but you can watch and see if I do or not. Oh. So, until the next one, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hope you had a good time.